Hi and hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this well is just where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. This session again we have a problem from the concept of numbers and let us see what question here we have with us. The question is find the number of zeros in the given product. So the question is asking for find the number of zeros. If you remember we have already worked few problems based on the same idea find the number of zeros so what we do there actually so whenever we need to find the number of zeros for a given factorial or for a given product whatever given so what we try to do there is we will be collecting the tens there okay tens because you know each zero there in our number represents one one ten that is the reason okay so for convenience what i will do is I'll attach the link of those videos here in the description box of this, vi this video so that it will be easy for you to refer those videos. Yeah, coming back. So, one zero, if there is one zero, that means it represents one ten. So, that means our idea here is we need to find how many tens are there or maximum, what, what is the maximum power of ten available in our given content. That is what we have to see. Okay. So, the moment you see the number of zeros in the question, so that means it means ten. Okay. This is what we have to check. And what about 10 there? To get 110, again what we have to see, just try to decompose the number 10, okay? So this 10 can be written as what? It can be written as 2 into 5, okay? So correct as many 2s and 5s in our given expression. So that will easily give you the answer. That's it, okay? And yeah, coming here in the, to the question, find the number of zeros in the given product. And what is our product? Our product is appearing to be a little lengthy. Anyways, we'll just uh, take it down here. So, the product given here is 5 into 10 times 25 times 40 times 50 multiplied by 55 into 65 into 125 into 80. So, of course, a very long product we have here. So, for this product, this will have how many zeros at the end? This is going to be the equation. Okay, all right. So now what we will try to do is, we will try to decompose the number in terms of 2's and 5's. Why 2's and 5's? Just now we saw the reason. Because the reason we need to get, collect as many tens possible. For that only we are doing this. Okay. So now break each of these numbers. Let's try to do that. So start with this 5. Okay. So this 5 can be simply written as what? 5 only. Right. So 5. So it is like 5 power 1. Okay. Let me write like that. Next, this 10 can be written as what? This 10 is once again. 2 into 5 or I can tell 2 power 1 into 5 power 1 okay over multiplied with next comes this 25 25 can be written as what this is nothing but 5 square is it or not yes multiplied by next comes this 40 this 40 is actually what 40 is actually 8 5s are 40 is it or not so that means this 40 can be written as 8 that is 2 cube multiplied by 5 so I hope you are able to follow that okay I am trying to rewrite the numbers in terms of 2s and 5s wherever possible that's it okay Next, coming to this uh, 50, what about 50? 50 can be written as what? 50, inside that 50, we have uh, uh, 2 and 5, is it or not? So that means this 50 can be written as 2 power 1 into 5 power 2, okay? So here, this is like 5 power 1, okay, the previous thing. So 2 power 1 into 5 power 2, that is what is this 50? Yeah, I'm continuing down, multiplied with this 55. Next number is 55, 55 can be written as 5 power 1 into 11 power 1. Anyways, 11s, we don't need. But still, I'm just uh, taking it as expression. Okay, next we have 65. This 65 is nothing but 5 power 1 into 13 power 1. Because 65 is nothing but uh, 5 13s are, right? So, yeah, continuing it. Next we have 125. So, 125 is exactly 5 power 3, right? So, 5 power 3. And next, last one we have 80. So, this 80 can be written as what? 80 is nothing but 16 5s are 80, right? So, once again, that 16 can be written as what? 16 is nothing but like uh, 2 power 4 multiplied by 5 power 1. I hope you are able to understand this. So now clearly we have decomposed these numbers in terms of powers of prime numbers. That's it. Very simple. Okay. Now what we need to do here is we have to collect 2s and 5s alone. Why 2s and 5s alone? Because all we are worried about is here we are just worried about only the number of 10s here. So that means we it is enough for us to collect only the 2s and 5s. Let's try to do that, okay? So now coming with the twos, okay? So whatever twos, if you see twos, wherever twos you have, you can pick them. 
So here we have 2 power 1, okay. So 2 power 1 you have here, or we can directly count it as it is, okay. Here we have 1, next we have, uh, here we have 3, right. So that means 2 power we have 1 plus here 3, and next we have plus 1, and uh, next to 2 is where, where we have 2 is here is another 2, right. So plus 4, so that's it, okay. Here, 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 here. There are only four expressions uh, with two. So two power one, two power three, two power one, two power four. So that means uh, they all come together or they all they get multiplied together. And totally we'll have what? One plus three plus one plus four, which will give us how much? This will be nothing but two power nine. Is it or not? Yes, fine. Next, come to five powers. So coming to five powers, here five powers will come to, here we have five power one, plus again 5 power 1 plus here 5 power 2 plus here again 5 power 1 plus here 5 power 2 plus uh, here 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 over next 5 power 1 and then again plus 1 again we have plus 3 plus 1 so I am writing it as 4 together because of there is no space that is the reason okay so it seems that 5 power is more available right 5 power is uh, we have a lot more 5s than 2s that is the reason so anyways if you see let's confirm it okay so 1 plus 1 this will be like uh, 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 13 so we have 13 5s so that means there are 9 2s and 13 5s available inside this product that's the meaning okay now just think of we, we, when we try to collide these uh, terms maximum how many things can we form that's what we have to think okay there are 9 2s available that is 2 power 9 means we have got 9 2s available and 5 power 13 that means 13 5s available so when they make them to combine to form 10s maximum how many 10s can be formed that is what we have to think so it's very clear here the least power is available with 2 only which is going to be 9 so that means at a maximum at a maximum we can collect only 9 tens that means 10 power 9 okay so that means only 9 tens will be able to collect why because 2 power 9 here will combine with 5 power 9 because the other 4 power I mean 5 power 5, 5 power 9 when we just take this 5 power 9 alone the other 5 power 4 will not have sufficient tools to collide to form 10 that is the reason so 2 power 9 with 5 power 9 alone we can combine to get a maximum of 10 power 9 so that means we can maximum collect 9 tens here so that means our product will have how many zeros at the end it will have 9 zeros at the end and that is going to be the answer okay fine yes so our answer 9 is ready available at option b so option b 9 is going to be the answer for this question i hope you are able to follow this so i won't say that this question is very difficult very hard one but the way students usually they prepare the aspirants when they see this question they will consider these questions to be harder but the way of solving it is going to be very very easy okay fine yes though i have given more explanations orally if you are clear with the concept it won't take more time for you to solve and get the answer it's just a quick very simple process you can quickly solve and then get the answer yes i hope you are able to follow it nine nine is going to be the answer which is option b is going to be the answer for this question and uh, I hope this session was useful to you and if you feel like this session was useful to you please give a like and if you feel that this would help any of your friends please do share this video to your friends also and again we will catch up in the next session with some other interesting question see you soon there thank you so much